this video explains how you can add new workflow in Jira software for that you have to click on this uh, settings and remember that if you have permissions then only you can add new workflow if you don't have the proper permissions you will not be able to do this thing then again click on issues click on issues and then uh, down here you will see this workflows settings just click on workflow and there you can uh, find one button called as add workflow here you can give the uh, name let us say dev workflow click on add and you can uh, see that uh, the workflow that we have created is over here but before that let me show you some existing workflows so by default there are uh, some workflows in Jira like classic default workflow let us see how it looks like you can view it in diagram or text so let us see in diagram so basically it tells like uh, a typical issue can take what kind of statuses like it can here in this workflow it can take open closed resolve reopen in progress statuses so let us go back to our workflow that we have created certain projects might have to follow different workflow so we are going to create new custom workflow here so once you create a workflow it will be shown in this inactive uh, tab and then from here you can edit your newly created workflow so when you uh, create new workflow you have to uh, like define what all statuses issue can take let us say for a development project first it can be uh, open issue can be a open status then uh, once that uh, issue is in open status can go into dev status so let us add one status dev already I have added one status so I am just going to select that one and here you can select if uh, a ticket can go into this status from all other statuses so you can check this checkbox so in div so if you want to add the transition like if the ticket is open it can go into in div status so for that you can add a transition so if, if there, there is a transition from one status to another status you can add this transition so form status open to in dev i want to do it and when the developer starts working then i want to add that status so when developer starts working it should go into in dev then let us add another status like uh, in testing So I've already added if you, you you can't see those status you can add new status as well like, like let us add new status in test and then click on new status here so it will create new status so here you can select the category in test means in progress so I'm gonna select in progress and in test is added here so from uh, in dev it can go to in test so uh, for that i can add the transition here in test to in dev so in dev to in test testing started so that time this status will transition so from dev to it will go test and then finally it can go to closed status so like that you can create a new status i'm not gonna add all the status and transition but uh, you must have got the like clear idea how you can add new status and transitions once you are happy with your uh, this workflow You can click here so this particular uh, workflow is created then uh, what you have to do is you have to associate uh, this workflow with one of the schemes and then you have to associate uh, one of the workflow schemes to project so there are two things you have to do so let us try to attach 
this project management APM with the new workflow. Click on add existing and from here you can select if here it will display all the inactive uh, active uh, workflows then click next and then select issue types you can have different issue types and different workflows for those issue types but right now i'm going to select all issue types and then publish it so what will happen is that uh, current workflow uh, this project is following is this one classic default workflow and what we are doing is we are changing the current workflow to dev workflow so in progress open you can just map the current statuses here you can select close or in test or whatever depending upon your preferences so that is how you can uh, create new workflows and uh, like attach uh, those workflows to the project thanks for watching this video